Uh, thank you again, Congressman Ted Lieu. We greatly appreciate your time, your support. I have the honor of introducing our next guest, uh, Mr. Greg Maurer. Mr. Greg Maurer is Vice President of Public Policy at Meta, formerly known as Facebook, where he leads congressional outreach and legislative affairs uh, for Meta's family of apps. Before coming to Facebook in 2012, he was Vice President of Public Affairs at UPS, where he focused on trade, tax, pension, and workforce issues. He joined UPS after almost a decade working on the Hill. During his time on Capitol Hill, Greg was an advisor to Chairman of the Workforce Protections Committee, Representative Cass uh, Ballinger, and he later served as Representative John uh, Bonier's Labor Policy Advisor and Director of Coalitions on the House Education and Workforce Committee. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Greg Maurer. Good afternoon. Let's try it again. Come on, let's wake up. Good afternoon. All right, all right, thank you, thank you. Um, first of all, I, I just want you all to know that Meta is very proud uh, to support uh, Demo Day. This is like wildly inspiring and really great to see. And it really shows us how important STEM education is. So thank you all for being here. And, and I also would like to thank um, the Internet Education Foundation, uh, it's not only this program that they do, but they do others. And this is great because it not only shows you what goes on here and allows you all to bring your great apps to, to, to Congress, but allows Congress to see exactly what you guys are up to and how important and what our future is going to look like. So thank you guys for being here and thank you, Internet uh, Education Foundation. Um, you know, I think it's probably pretty common knowledge. Uh, Meta was founded by a one-time student uh, who had the idea for an app, uh, kind of like you all do. And so I'm excited to see when you walk around and you see all this, uh, where this will take you. And uh, I think it, you know anywhere we can be helpful, we'd love to be. Uh, we really do. Um, place a lot of money and a lot of time and capital in resource development and wanting the next best technology here at Meta. And so it's exciting to think that at some point we could be working with all of you. Uh, so keep up the good work and thank you. Uh, finally, very quickly, it's just, I want to tell you how inspiring it is to come here and see not only the, what you guys are building and doing, but that also that it's from all backgrounds and it's from across the country and it really shows the opportunity uh, that we have in this country and what we can do and so thank you again uh, for being an inspiration but you guys aren't here to hear from me uh, you're here to hear from the, the important people uh, the members of congress so it is my um, honor to, to introduce someone who is a leader in the next generation of Congress and continually works uh, for the education and opportunity uh, of not only her constituents, but Americans in general, and is very committed to it. And so with that, I'd like to give you uh, Congressman Crockett. <coughs> Crockett, sorry, pardon me. Try this again. Everybody take a deep breath. Good afternoon. That was a little better, but goodness. I can't believe this is a room full of winners sounding like this one more time. Good afternoon. Yes, give me some life. All right, so um, you've already heard from the really smart member, which was Ted Lou. Um, so I will not have a speech that is similar to his because he's a lot smarter than I am, especially when it comes to the technicalities. But I am Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett. I proudly represent Texas 30th Congressional District, which the vast majority of my district is in Dallas, Texas. But I'm excited to be here today, and I wish y'all were half as excited as I am. I'm excited just looking out at the amazing talent that we have in this country. I'm excited that you decided to take this challenge on. I'm excited that you not only took it on, but you won, and I'm excited for your future. Because what you're gonna do in the future is gonna take care of me, because I'm a little older than you. Now, with that being said, let me tell you why I love young people. Um, 
Um, number one, I think you guys are incredibly smart. I probably could never figure out half of these apps that you've put together. I don't even know if I'll be able to use half the apps that you've put together. And guess what? I am considered young to be in Congress. So you can only guess what the Senate and the rest of the House is going through trying to figure out y'all's apps. But nevertheless, <laughs> we are moving into a day and age of technology. You heard from my colleague, Ted Lou, as he talked about AI. And I did an interview yesterday. And when I did that interview, one of the things that was brought up was, you know, while I'm sure you guys did amazing apps and they're great and they're positive, one of the things that was brought up to me was about the upcoming elections and if I had fears about um, interference with our elections, so to speak. Raise your hand if you've heard anything about potential interference in elections as it relates to technology. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. Um, in my opinion, Congress is a little behind, um, probably because we're a little older. And I told that interviewer, I said, I am concerned and I'm most frustrated that we talked about this in 2016 and here we are eight years later and we're still talking about it and we don't have any fixes. But guess who has the fixes? I'm gonna give y'all one chance to guess. Guess who has the fixes for us? Yes, good job, y'all are awake, amazing. That's right. And I really believe that. I'm not just saying that, I really believe that. And so as I'm talking to this interviewer, I told her, I said, you know, what is wild to me is that there will be a generation soon enough that won't know a world without the internet. Now I see some of you have your parents here. Parents, give yourselves a hand clap. Yes. Now parents, y'all remember what it was like before the internet, don't you? Yes, your children don't, right? Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know a world without the internet. Y'all don't know a world without social media or apps. There was a time when we were living with a horse and buggy. Okay, so see, this is not working. I, I was not telling the truth about that part. We are not that old. <laughs> Essentially, it is a similar kind of thing. We lived at a time in which the computer was a big deal because we were moving from typewriters. I'm sure some of y'all have never even seen a typewriter. But we were moving from typewriters to computers and that way we could correct errors when we were typing without having to use the whiteout. And we thought we were really doing something. And then the next thing you know, we started to have all of these advances and one day there was this thing called the internet. And one day there was this thing called AOL. I know Oh, I ain't never heard of AOL, but it was way before Meta, which before Meta was just Facebook. But nevertheless, we have seen so much so fast, and it's only going to move even faster because of y'all and because of what you can do. And so the only question or the only request that I have is that you use your superpowers for good. The reason that this challenge matters is because number one, we wanna make sure that we are showing off the amazing young people in our country. But also because ultimately this will be a matter of national security and I say ultimately, but currently we are dealing with issues of national security around technology. In addition to privacy, you know, I know y'all probably don't care about your social security number just yet because you're probably not using it. You're still, you know, banking on your parents to use theirs. But we've had a few banks that have had issues because hackers have hacked in and done things like stolen social security numbers and use those social security numbers and messed up our credit and things like that. But those are the bad guys. I got the good guys here. I got my supermans and my, my supergirls. Actually, we call her Wonder Woman. But I have y'all right here in this room. And so when you leave here, whenever you're leaving, whether it's over the weekend or whether it's tomorrow or today, the one thing that I want you to know is that there are members like me that are really believing and trusting that you are going to be our superheroes, not just of the future, but you are the superheroes of the present. And I want you to embrace it and love it and recognize your power. And I want y'all to flex that power a little bit. 
So with that, I have another ask. We take interns. I need y'all to apply for congressional internships, all kinds of stuff, because there are no limits to what you can do, and there are no limits to how helpful you can be to this country. So I know some of you signed up for this, and you thought, well, this is a great opportunity to just show that I can create a really cool app and maybe get a cool trip to D.C., but I want you to know that it's so much bigger than that for us. We see nothing but greatness in you, and when you leave here and go back to school, I want you to tell them the congresswoman told me I was great and that I'm a superhero, because I mean that. With that, because I don't want to take up too much of y'all time, because y'all were already asleep when I got up here, uh-huh, uh-huh. But I do want y'all to also know that I have my own superheroes and winners in my district. Arav and Jay, if you guys will stand. Yes, I'm going to embarrass y'all. See? Yep. They're amazing. Thank you. I also love to brag, so I'm so excited that they submitted <laughs> and I could have winners in my district. They did an amazing app called Our Garden. Let me tell you, keep, keep striving. And no matter what type of adversity you face, just know that you can and will overcome it. And don't let anybody tell you that you are limited by your age. Because again, I grew up in a world where we didn't even have the internet. And the idea of me creating an apple, I'm just not the one to do it. But you are. And we need to listen to you. We heard Ted Lu talk about everything that's going on with AI, and AI is an amazing tool. But we also have to make sure that we are protected from those that want to do the bad things. And again, who are y'all to me? There we go. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you so much to Congresswoman Crockett. Now I have the honor of introducing Michelle Florence Chiwanda. Michelle is a seasoned tech policy expert and current senior vice president of a mid-year network where she oversees the global mission of the program across the core themes of responsible technology, reimagining capitalism, and pluralism. She is a native New Yorker holding a cum laude Bachelor of Arts degree from Hampton University as well as a doctorate from the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill School of Law. She has experience across government, nonprofits, think tanks, and big tech companies from Google to the House of Representatives and now a mid-year network where she leads global programs focusing on responsible technology and a more equitable future. Please give a warm welcome to Michelle.